All right, YouTube, what's good, what's good? My name is Andrew Lindley, representing the DJ Connect. You already know what it is. Make sure, before we do anything, that you like and subscribe to this video because I'm brand new on YouTube. I need your subscriptions just so that I can keep bringing this hot fire nonstop. I'm just gonna keep bringing you guys fire. What if you guys need, um, just drop it in the comments down below. I always personally respond to every single comment. Um, so if there's ever something that you guys need help with, I will definitely make a video to really get in there and help you guys um, grow. And, and whatever it is that you guys need, I am here to help you and serve you guys because that's what it's about. The DJConnect.com, that's where my private group is at. If you really just want to take your, your DJ career to that next level, start booking high paying gigs, that's where you got to go. Uh, but enough of that, let's get into the video. Uh, today, it's just going to be like a very kind of introductory video into Serato, how Serato works. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking me like, why do you use Serato? What is the difference between this and that? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is just going to be my rundown. For me personally, I use Serato because it was the very first and it is probably, in my opinion, the, the single most um, stable system. Uh, never had a crash. Like I've literally never in my entire 15 year career had a crash or had something go wrong. Um, and that's just the, the like to, to the test to prove how strong Serato is. Uh, it might not have all of the, uh, the the bells and whistles that a lot of other like programs have, um, but I feel like it's a lot more about just DJing and there's no like gimmicks or anything. So this is just gonna be my video kind of explaining about Serato, uh, what you can do with it, um, and that's it. So let's get into it. Um, so I just got my little, uh, there we go. Um, anytime that I'm going to do something in an area, I'm gonna use this little thing. You see my mouse, it's showing you where it's at right now. Um, and we're gonna start off right from the top corner. We'll go across the whole screen and break it down that way. So the very first thing that you run into, well, first it's your clock and then you got your USB buffer. If you're plugged in, this is gonna be on the other side. Uh, I'm not plugged in right now, so here we go. The next thing over is your daylight mode and your, your night mode. Uh, and trust me, this day mode is incredible. If you're ever outside, like the sun is coming down, make sure you turn it on day mode. It's gonna change the game for you. Um, the next, this is something just to do with uh, a plugin that I have. It's called um, Serato Play. Uh, it just lets me like, I could literally just DJ right now on, um, on the computer. Like I don't need a controller or anything to be able to play. I can do it here. I got my mixer. I got my, my three band EQ here. Everything is here if I wanted to. Uh, I've never used it. I, I don't see the purpose. Um, but I guess if you're like on a flight and you need to prep some work, you can definitely just set everything up and, and work on here. Uh, the next thing along the line is your um, view mode. So realistically, normally when I'm DJing, I'm always in vertical mode. Uh, it's just what I'm used to. It's what I've done the whole my whole career. That's how I DJ. Uh, but it, but when you see me on live and on on these videos, um, you're always going to see me in horizontal mode. I just find that it looks better um, on Serato when it's in that mode. Um, you guys get a lot more view of what's going on. Um, so I always keep it in horizontal just so that it kind of helps you guys out. Uh, but there's more, there's extended mode, so you can see more of that screen, more waveform. Uh, library is just like very basic. Um, my mode is vertical, uh, but I keep it on horizontal on this computer just so that you guys can see it a lot better. Um, link is for, uh, it's a plugin when you're, you're DJing on um, Twitch. This is going to pull out uh, and link your songs to your Twitch stream. So uh, it's good to have if you're a streamer. I don't really stream, so I have it, but I don't stream too often. Maybe in the future, I'll get back into streaming, but for now, I don't. Uh, quantize is for... Quantizing is back in the day when you had bands, music was not like 68 BPM beat gridded out. Um, quantize is, is the function that's going to help that stuff get back into beat grid and it's going to lock your beat grids. And if you're using any of like the effects and, um, that are on your controller or like the, which one is it called? The slicer quantize is just going to make sure that it's on beat the whole time. It's going to help you out to get that done. Um, so it's a great feature if you need it. Uh, I'm old school, so I don't actually use Quantize ever. I don't even have it enabled. 
Um, just because like I feel like that takes it away from me and what I need to do as a DJ. If I need to fix something or pitch bend, I can do that on the fly. I can make it happen. So quantize is just like, it's a great for training wheels, but I feel like one day you're going to want to turn it off. Next is record very simply. You have your record button here, record location. Um, once you hit record, make sure you hit save before you stop. If not, you're going to lose it. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but it's, I don't know why they haven't fixed this yet, but it will just like get rid of your entire stream. Uh, next is your effects. So if you're using Serato effects or if you have a controller using Serato effects, this is where you come in, change it, play around. Uh, it's great. I love Serato effects. They're amazing. Um, a lot of new controllers have their own like um, post faders and um, uh, if you're using a Pioneer especially, it's going to have usually its own sound effects bank. Um, but the SWAT effects are amazing. Love them. Uh, next is your sampler. I don't have anything here because my drive isn't plugged in right now. But you get uh, numerous banks. Oh, here it is. Here's some here right now. I've done videos on samplers already, so I'm not going to like run down this again. Um, I can spend an hour talking about the sampler. If you need more information on samplers, just check out one of my prior videos. Uh, I'll see if I can link it here somehow. I'll see if I can get help on that. I'm new to YouTube. Give me a break, guys. It is what it is. Uh, the next thing is um, it's just more plugins. So this is um, a loop. So if you're going to start building, I forget the official name. Let's check here. Uh, and you can always go here to the help um, show tooltips, and this will tell you exactly what it is. So this one's called Serato Flip. It's a plugin. I could do, an, I guess I would do a whole nother video on Serato Flip. Uh, it's just too much stuff to read into right now. Uh, and the next one is this, what I was talking about before, Serato Play. Uh, just another plugin. So that should get rid of everything here. Uh, next, you got your one deck or your three deck. So if you're you have four channels, you can do four deck mixing in here. Uh, this is just the name of your track. Uh, a hack here is if you oh they got rid of that. They got rid of that. Um, it's actually it'll be in the settings now. But before you would come in here, type AM, and it would get rid of your track names. Just if you ever had a DJ staring over your back all the time, you can delete your track name so nobody can steal your set. I don't use that. I don't see the reason, but some people do. Um, next is your key. Um, you can change up the key if you're using um, pitch and time, which uh, it's just down here. I'll get into that in the very short future. Uh, future <laughs> sorry but that is the single reason why Serato destroys every other program on the market pitch and time is incredible uh, this is just your key lock um, and then it would be pitch lock here too so if you're ever going up plus eight or down plus eight uh, normally it would sound very chipmunky or like slow down and sounds very different than what it would talk like um, Serato came through with pitch and time which is the greatest plugin of all time like you you can go plus eight or negative eight plus ten and it's going to keep it in the same pitch it's going to like keep it in the same pitch so people aren't going to notice they might see that it's like a lot faster especially if you're going over plus 10 like in my opinion you should never go over plus 8 but some people do some people go plus 10 uh, if you're using acapellas and stuff that's a different story uh, and you can literally make any kind of acapella any kind of remix with pitch and time uh, it changes the game so pitch and time is incredible this is the single reason why Serato destroys every single other program on there there. like big ups Serato pitch and time it's next level it's the way to do it uh, and next running down on offline mode like you got your pitch fader here uh, you can pitch bend and this is where you set your range like if you want to go plus 16 you could but maybe I need a longer effect but let's turn this off so you hear that let's put pitch pitch and time back on it's still plus 16, but it sounds normal. What's normal sound like? It's slower. Like, it's a lot slower. Uh, I don't know if I have any music going here, though, unfortunately. Acapellas. I uh, might have something in here. There we go. 
I don't want to get dropped from Facebook, so we got to do this very quickly. <laughs> Let's go plus 16. So you can very clearly see the difference here, right? Let's put pitch and time back on. So it's faster. Like it's very clearly faster, but you can't really tell the difference there. I hope my sound was on so you guys can hear all of that. Uh, let's check real quick. Sorry, guys. Desktop audio is on, so you should have been able to hear a bit of that. Um and uh, if you guys are wondering what I was just hopping into, that's OBS. I have another video on OBS and how to set up live streams, um, but we're not going to take away from this video. Uh, that's just showing you the power of pitch and time. It's the game changer. The one reason why I will never, ever leave Serato. Uh, it's better than everything else. Like it changes the game, the stability, um, how long it's been around. Like Serato is the one. Uh, and I'm not going to push my views, like play any system that you want it it doesn't really matter at all we they all dj they all do the same thing some have a lot more features some have other features but for me serato is all about djing uh keeps me a sick dj and that's what's up uh next what do we got here we got the cue points so you'll set your cue points up uh hopefully you guys know how to use cue points if you don't drop a comment and i will go deep on cue points next are your flips so i don't have anything set uh, I'll definitely do a better video on flips. Um, next is just uh, loops. So you can like set loops. Now I could save this forever if I wanted to. Anytime that it came up or I came to this spot, it'll be here. It's kind of built in now. Uh, you can lock it forever, but I, I don't want that. I don't want that loop there. So I deleted it, uh, but that's all that's for is loops. Here's auto loop, Serato features. Auto loops are incredible. You can set the time on all of that. Uh, eject. Now I don't have that anymore, but that's okay. Uh, and then which is this? Let's get a tool tip on that. Sensor. Okay, so if you're playing... If you're playing at a venue who wants um, no curse words and you don't have that, uh, if you want to live on the edge, you can just hit this button and it's going to reverse for as long as you're holding that button. Most controllers have an actual sensor button on it, so all it's gonna do is hit that button for you. Uh, and that should be it for this. Let's check a tool tip on this one here. Slip mode, so slip mode is just gonna let you hit buttons, um, and then it's always gonna jump to where it was. So uh, if you ever use like a loop roll, it's using the slip feature. Um, so yeah, that should be it. That takes care of it. Everything on this side is the same. Uh, this is obviously your crates. I've done a lot of videos on crates. I'm going to have more coming. So I'm not going to dig deep on crates. Um, if you guys want videos on smart crates, just drop a comment. I will definitely get videos on smart crates. Uh, that takes care of that. This is your master sound. Uh, you never want to hit the red. Never play in red. Like once you're starting to hit yellow, that's your limit. Never go over that. You're in the red. You're, you're dead right so always remember that if you're in the red you're dead because you're gonna blow someone's speaker and they're gonna come kill you never go in the red like if you're a beginner know this red is a no go green is uh is good yellow is is where you want to be like number one or two yellows and you're good anything above that you're gonna start distorting and you don't want to do that too green and now like the speakers are overcompensating you just want to be in like the very low yellow uh and that's good to go um next is just your volume that's your master volume if you have to turn it up you can turn it up here i don't recommend it uh expansions are i don't need to do it here but uh it'll be in the settings i just wanted to hit it here but i have play uh i don't have serato effects you can buy more sound effects if you want pitch and time is everything like right here full license paid in full if you don't have it get it uh serato flip dvs is so that you can use cdjs or vinyl turntables video video is something i'm going to be getting into soon but i've heard that there's a better program and not to get serato video so i've never done it uh, i don't need to pay for serato dj pro because if you have like a new controller or um a 
flight like a good controller one of their flagship controllers it's all free never waste your money on this like just buy the controller that you want to get once you're at that level you can always use serato uh itch to get started don't worry about it i don't produce so i don't have serato studio uh, my expansions are these i have all four of these um and that's it let's get into the settings let's go uh that's just profiles obviously we don't gotta worry about any of that that should take care of everything. You got the autoplay button in the bottom corner here. Um, this is great for weddings and stuff like cocktail hour. You can just set a playlist up and this will play it out. Uh, let's just set, let's, I'll show you guys real quick. Oh, and then that one's not there. So sorry guys. Uh, uh, it would have played this. Like you'll see if you scroll back a couple seconds, it was uh, gray, but because I don't have this track anymore, it went orange. So I'll, I'm just going to delete that now because I have no use for that. See you later. Uh, now we're getting into the settings. Playback keys use shift. So this is great. If you've ever like miss, made a mistake, I should have this on because if you ever hit the Q button or the A button, it's going to start playing only in reverse and you're going to start freaking out. Like you're not going to know what to do, but uh, there are like there are a bunch of hot keys on your keyboard. Um, all this is changing is that you have to be holding shift and then hit Q or then hit A or any of the other buttons on your keyboard for it to work. Uh, lock playing deck is kind of the same thing. Uh, it's going to lock the deck so you can't accidentally drop a song on it. Like there's, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've dropped the track on the wrong deck, like live in a concert or wherever I am, just cause like you're stressed out or whatever's going on or you're not thinking and you drop it on the wrong deck and it just cuts the music, cuts it all and you're done. It sucks. Uh, sort cues and loops chronologically. All this is going to do is if you have cue points, it's going to sort them chronologically, like in the time order. Um, that's great for most people. Some people set up special cues at the end that they want to, like, they know what they're for. So I would say it, this is good if you're a beginner, but if you're ever like, uh, past that, like making sentences or something, you're not going to want that on. Enable hot cues is just, do you want hot cues on? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> track end warning. If the track's coming up, it's going to start blinking for you to like warn you, make sure you're good. Uh, I don't run into this issue. Sometimes I do, but I don't have it on. Doesn't really need to. Disable needle search during playback. That's just if you're using vinyl. Not too many people use that anymore, but if you do, uh, this is going to let you search with the vinyl track at the end. Uh, show beat jump controls. This is great. I have it on my other computer. Uh, this is just my home computer, so I don't have it on, but beat jump is sick. Quantize value. Again, if you're using quantize, like what do you want it to, to quantize to? Quarter beat, uh, eighth beat, half beat, uh, one beat, two beat, four beat. What do you want it to like snap to? Use auto gain is great. Like it's going to try and keep everything at the same gain. Uh, breaking is just like if you have a controller, if you want it to do like the or like when you're, you hit the start button, if you want it to go like and start, this is where you set that uh, on song load, play from start, instant doubles. These are sick. Instant doubles is just going to like if you have a track going right now, it's going to drop that track at the exact same time. So now it's doubled up and you can start doing little tricks. Play from first cue point, that should be on. Like always for me, play from the first cue point. Because uh, my first cue point is like that first thing. Like wh where should it be at the start? That's the first cue point. Turn off all effects. So if you're ever bringing a new track in, sometimes you have the effects still on and like loaded, ready to go, and you forgot to turn them off. This is just gonna turn it off right away when you pull it in. Uh, virtual deck speed, 3345. If you don't know what that is, you probably do not need to play with that. Uh, recording, like what, what do you want the bit depth to be, 16 or 24. File format, AIF or WAVE. Uh, sync mode, sync is off. Or do you want simple sync? So the first sync press, all it does is match the BPM in the, or if you have beat grids, it's going to match it. A smart sync is so if you press it, it sets the master deck. Second sync presses, second sync press matches BPM uh, and beat grid phrase. So this is going to like make this um, a no brainer. It makes it a lot smarter and better for you. Honestly, like 
I use sync every now and again when I'm DJing, but like, please, 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 if you're learning how to DJ, do not use sync. Don't do it, man. It's just going to hinder you forever. Like you're never going to learn what you need to learn. Once you know how to mix and stuff, they're like, go ahead and use sync. But when you're learning at the start, just don't do it. It's just going to mess you up. It's not good. Like you shouldn't do it. Uh, audio, this is just your buffer size, your latency, uh, just depends on what kind of computer you have. The lower, like if you have a better computer, you want it lower because it's just going to make um, your controller tighter, like mine set to a two millisecond um, delay. Uh, five is the normal, but uh, if, you, if you're scratching and stuff, you're going to want it at one, but it all comes down to the computer that you have and how good it is. Uh, I changed it to two because I was having an issue with my Rain 72 that I think I figured out. Um, but uh, yeah, we haven't confirmed yet. Audio output, make audio available to other applications. So this is making it easier to stream. If you don't have um, a streaming setup, this is making it like dummy proof to make sure uh, that you can stream to anything with any form, like um, any kind of controller. Uh, next, we're going to move to library and display. This is becoming a long video. I wanted to, this to be very short, uh, and I'm running out of breath here, so let's go, guys. Uh, library. Show iTunes library. If you use iTunes, uh, if you build your library on iTunes, obviously you want that. I've never used iTunes in my life, so I don't need that. Protect library is just uh, protecting it, making sure there's a backup. Custom crate columns. If you want to create custom crate columns, you can do that here. Uh, I don't have, I've never done this. This must be a new feature. So let's check it out. Uh, I wonder, I just double click here or nothing, nothing. Yeah. I'm going to look into that and I will let you guys know in the future. Uh, I've never seen that one. That's a new feature for sure. Custom crate columns, center on selected song, include sub crate track. So if you're clicking on the top crate, it's going to include everything for you. Uh, I want to see what this one does specifically. With this option selected, the song library will keep the highlighted song centered. Interesting. So that probably, if you're clicked on something, it's always going to come with you. That's interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to look into that as well. Uh, actually, let's check it out. I don't have enough music on here, though, is the problem. Main tribery. Yeah. Oh, so let's double click it center. I don't know what that does. We're going to, we're going to look into that and I will follow up with you guys. Center on selected song, uh, display show, show tempo matching display. That's just, do you want to show the tempo? Are they matching and here? This is what I was talking about before high track and artist. Uh, it was AM mode from DJ AM rest in peace to DJ AM, uh, EQ colored waveforms. Like if you want, um, to show the waveforms as you're playing with like the EQ and stuff. It's just going to keep it all colored for you. Um, it's great if you use it. It's great. Color key display. It's going to keep your keys in color and it's going to, you're going to know the keys by color. Again, this is more of an intro video. So don't even worry. Like what I like to tell my students is if you can't mix yet, don't even worry about key. Like get keys out of your brain. Don't even worry about keys. Keys don't exist. Worry about BPM. BPM equals BPM. That is the only law that you should be worried about. Keys come later. Beat, beat matching comes first. Uh, performance pad Q layout. So it's just going to have, it, there's two different layouts. Uh, if It's going to match your performance pad. Your performance pads are the eight Qs. Eight here, eight here. Uh, if that's the layout that you want, it's what I use. So that's what I want it to be. Uh, show key as Camelot classical or a different kind of tag. Camelot is the, I guess the DJ style way of keying. So 7A, 8A, uh, 1A, 2A, 3A, 3B. Um, that's that style. Or if you change it to like classical, it's going to be like A minor, B minor, B major. Um, so you really need to know your music. If you're going to change it to that, I recommend Camelot, uh, send data usage. You don't need to worry about that. Show streaming services. So if you use a streaming service, you're going to want this and you're going to choose the one that you want. You'll log in here. Obviously I don't use streaming services. Don't need that. So I turned it off. Uh, played track color. Very important. This is going to change the color of the tracks that you've played, change it to blue. 
uh, right reset play track counts on exit uh, enable play count like that's just going to tell you how many times you've played it and do you want to reset it uh, library text size I, I keep my library very small because I can read it like that uh, BPM display do you want one decimal place two decimal place normally it should be dot zero zero or dot five zero but uh, when, once you play with older music you're gonna notice that sometimes it's not exact so that's where it comes in where like you can't rely on quantized you can't rely on sync for everything you there are things that you have to know and if if, if for some reason a song is analyzed wrong with a wrong bpm it's gonna train wreck you within seconds so these are things you need to know about and be worried about high res screen display i'm not too sure what this is i've never done it before but uh let's try it out i got high resolution never enabled that i don't you normally go in the settings so there's a few things that are new new stuff comes all the time uh next we got mixer uh so if you need an eq boost what do you want it to be up fader you can set it to whatever you want like if you want it fast slow cross fader should always be fast uh, a lot of times your mixer is going to decide what the cross fader is but sometimes you got to come in here if you don't have a curve on your mixer this is where you would change that uh, effects are just your effects like if you have some favorite ones right now I'm using all um, controller effects like pioneer effects so I don't even have this set up I don't I don't need to uh, and last but not least, you got your expansion pack. So Serato Video, this is where all the things are. Like uh, if you have Serato Video, you'll enable it here. Sampler, sampler is here. And you have to enable it. So make sure you enable it. All the stuff that you have, you come in here and you enable it. Uh, Serato Playlist, Live Playlist, that's a thing where it sends the, the stuff to Twitch to pull it up for you. Serato Remotes, if you have that, I don't, I don't use that. Pitch and Time a hundred percent pitch in time like pitch in time is everything and you don't have to pay for it it comes included but if you want it for like something else like i use it for pro tools offline uh that's what you would pay for it for and flip and throttle play and that is it so one other thing that i forgot to mention uh here's your files this is where you would load your crates from the files uh browse is just like um it's kind of like a smart crate system so afro pop uh, it'll just come up with the stuff in here. It's already going to have it in here. Uh, this is a way, great way to use. Like if you're um, going to use smart crates, this is a great feature. It's funny because I've never used it and thinking right now, maybe I should use that sometimes, but it is what it is. Uh, prepare is where you would send tracks. Like when you're playing in the club and you're like, yo, I got to play this song in 20 minutes. You drop it in here. Uh, and then once you load it, it's gone. So this is where you prep. Like if you were using records or crates, you, this is where you're pulling the records out, leaving them there for the future because you know you're going to play it. And then history, last but not least, this is your history. This is all the stuff you uh, we played. And earlier I said like it's going to turn it blue um, to tell you that you've played it. All you do is you come here at the start of a gig, hit reset, you're good. You go to history, reset, to new night, everything is good to go so long video i wanted to be very short hopefully all this stuff was to the point i didn't want to like waste any time with anything but uh yeah make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel nothing but new fire coming out for my people and if you're actually looking to take your dj career to that next level you want to open up a business you want to make this like you want to turn this from a dream to like reality a real big time dj um, make sure you come to the djconnect.com, join my monthly group, and there is fire. We got masterminds all of the time, connect with other DJs doing the same thing, and I have so many, so many, so many special things waiting for you in the back end. Like all of my sound effects that I use are yours for my private members. I will see you guys later. Take care. See you on the next one. Let's go.